Well, after every good party, there was always a massive cleanup. And last night's festivities in downtown Victoria were no exception. Event organizers and city crews were out all night returning the city to the shiny gem it's known as. CTV's Louise Hartland joins us now live with that side of the story. Louise. Joe, it was the perfect way to celebrate a 145th birthday. But there were a lot of party favors left behind. <laughs> It is a sea of red and white, more than 50,000 strong. And Canada Day organizers know when you invite this many people out to play, there is bound to be a little residual damage. <laughs> trash everywhere, stuff everywhere. Armed with garbage bags, trash tongs, even leaf blowers, crews were out early this morning returning the city to its usual splendor. Well, we started, I mean, cleaning up and wrapping up the main stage and like, just after the fireworks and you know we went pretty hard till about 3 a.m. and uh, when we woke up everything was clean. Fantan event management was back out here just after 7 this morning. A brief sleep while the city crews did their magic. The city comes in and basically comes in with these huge blowers and they blow all the garbage down towards downtown and then they come up with sucking machines and then they suck it all up. So pretty much before anyone wakes up everything's taken care of. There was some treasure in this trash. Did you find anything interesting in the garbage? Uh, you find money, lots of money, like coins and things like that. People's, people lose keys and things like that, and you wonder how they get home or start their car. Now all that remains, a few patriotic particles, scattered on the lonely lawn, tossed on empty sidewalks, thanks to a well-orchestrated plan. Put a pretty big, like, waste management program in place prior to so a lot of receptacles everywhere but you get 50,000 people downtown they just tend to drop garbage wherever they wherever How they many garbage cans did you have out? Uh, I'd probably say about two, three hundred and then we also had food waste and composting going on as well. But the city wasn't the only thing that needed cleaning up this morning. Lasting reminders of, of Canada Day. <laughs> At the Blue Fox, the hungry and the hurting lined up for the perfect medicine. Just recovering from Canada Day. <laughs> Coming out for breakfast and uh, having a good time. What is your hangover cure? Classic Benny at the Blue Fox. <laughs> and lots of water and coffee. I had eggs and sausage, hash browns and toast. So good. And a great excuse to get together with friends clean themselves up and share stories of another Canada Day come and gone. If you're looking for a hangover cure, researchers from ASAP Science have some advice for you. Eat fatty and carb-heavy foods before you drink, stay hydrated, and pop an aspirin before going to bed, but not Tylenol. Combined with alcohol, it can damage the liver. As for the day after, the researchers recommend eating a breakfast of eggs, bananas, and fruit juice. But of course, the best way to avoid a hangover is not to drink at all. Jeff. Good advice. Good advice. Thanks, Louise.